Well, remember everyone from Kotaku's own website, it's the gamers that are at fault for the censorship we're seeing in games and the jiggle physics anytime somebody talks about it why it's such a bad thing in video games. You know, there's some days you sit there and you read an article and you just have to sit back, take a step back and laugh. I remember when the jiggle physics came out for Baldur's Gate 3 and it was hailed as one of the most important patches for the game. But now we have a video game called Farm Folks coming out on Twitter. I've already covered this in its own video, but Kutaku, Alyssa Makante, has had her own say in this, and it's all gamers fault. Well, before we get fully into the video, share, like, and subscribe. That's the least you can do. Now, Farm Folks CEO on boob physics, we don't want to attract nasty people. They had an over an hour long interview with Alyssa Mercante via Discord and Apparently, they're not following anything to do with online. Uh, they have a team of 20 people working on this game, and nobody looks on Twitter. Nobody knows what's going on with Stellar Blade. And apparently, the jiggle physics that they were talking about in their original tweet was all a big joke. Well, it really is. That's the thing. That joke offended the people that are not going to buy this game in the first place. Well, this was the controversial tweet they put up. All right, folks, it's time for some serious game development talk. We're tinkering with character physics and farm, folks. Burning question is which version has the perfect breast jiggle physics. And of course, everybody that won't ever buy this game had a complete meltdown. And we see Alyssa McCante with their article here. It's absolutely telling where they really think gamers lie. The responses were less than positive, clearly charged by the culture war, currently ranging in games that have seen a 50-something former Blizzard employee rallying behind people against community managers. And she's talking about Mark Kern bringing to light the controversies and the censorship that we are seeing with video games the dei of video games the absolute ruination of our video games after being tagged crypto uh, cryptovo founder alex kavolsky joined the conversation and i know i just butchered that and i don't care sorry guys i was just going through the morning calls let me check what's happening i'll respond he went back and forth with a few people with some questioning uh his alleged ignorance regarding gamergate 2.0 movement he apologized several times and this is once again this movement is the journalist like Alyssa marcante here that is a defender of sweet baby inc a defender of what they call diversity in gaming which is not diversity in gaming it's a one-sided storytelling narrative that is being shoehorned and changed to fit whatever the narrative of the trend is that day i'm not pretending i'll explain my reasoning behind this I wrote in the apology, our goal was not to over sexualize our characters, it was the opposite. The goal was to achieve realistic physics in reactions to a world. In a game that looks like Fortnite to begin with, it's got the Fortnite graphics to it. I'm like, sure, it's, un it's a video game. It's not meant to be realistic, it's meant to be absurd. It's meant as a joke in this sense to sit there and put this up there and say, hey, listen, we, we wanna know what we're going to get right. In my previous video, I even lamented to this where the people that went off over this, that got upset over this, it was all because they have a problem with the jiggle physics being in a video game, but only if it's a women's figure not if it's in bowlers gate 3 where they gave crotch physics to them really the double standard here is absolutely absurd and this is why everyone's talking about gamergate 2 why they're talking about the censorship why they're talking about the dei that is absolutely ridiculous at this point uh, and this article goes on with a quote from alex himself if you're having problems with our characters likes look for the, for help 
maybe go and date a woman or something like that because that this is not our goal we don't want to attract people that are unattracted to only those types of body parts that had nothing to do with any of this and i don't know why you have to insult gamers on ignorance this shallow it it's absolutely ridiculous i'm married happily married 17 years this weekend um yeah this is absolutely ridiculous at this point there are many people out there in the gaming industry and gamers alike and pundits and everyone commentating on this stuff that don't need to be looked down and condescended down upon especially for a fledgling game something that's new onto the market and all they all you guys were asking for was realistic jiggle physics what is too much what is not enough and just asking that question you got lambasted by the people that will never buy it you know i kind of was like hey this is kind of funny this is meme worthy is it not it looks like a phone game a mobile game something you would probably play on your phone overall but you know the jiggle physics aren't the end-all be-all for a video game it was just a strange thing to put out there in the middle of the stellar blade controversy in the middle of everything going on with mark kern and of course Alyssa mccante can't leave mark kern out of any of this even though many people sat there and said you guys shouldn't apologize for this you shouldn't have deleted the original tweet you shouldn't be listening to this the coin that wants to just tear down something you're trying to create but i i get it i get it you're going to sit there and be in bed with them because you sat there talking to kotaku where they're changing the idea that you're probably thinking at this point and you sat there and apologized up and down to kotaku to their viewers just over this game you know what when this game comes out i don't think it's gonna do very well at all because as a indie developer as a developer at this stage i don't think people are going to even care about this game you know at one point we a lot of people would have cared about this game if you stuck to your guns and just went along with it like nothing ever happened but of course we're back to social media and twitter where it seems that the people that don't know what they're doing with social media just want to ruin their their own video games Anyway, I've been your Proud in Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And, hey, videos are going to be a little bit light this weekend. Just so everyone knows, there's no live stream this Saturday, Sunday, May the 3rd to the 5th. Uh, I'm going away. I, I, I won't be around. Uh, so, I, you know, I'll still be on my phone. I'm going to try and get up what I can. But they might be a little spotty. And I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day.